Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Akaya Ion Beam. Let's start with what the Akaya Ion Beam does. So what it does is neutralize static created during grinding. So let's get to a few clips of me using this device and you can see for yourself. I'm not going to use any RDT. I'm just going to use this and you can see for yourself how effective this uh, device is working to neutralize the static buildup. How I received it so it's a little box uh, they do give you the couple of stickers a carrying case charging cord and they do give you the uh, the bracket for the Kaya grinder so that's the only bracket it comes with so let's get into the features of this device and go from there some pros I do like about this device is uh, this solves the static issue during grinding coffee. It allows you to use negatively or positively charged ions to neutralize the static instead of using moisture. Typically people would use RDT, which is Ross Droplet Technique. You basically spray your beans before you grind them and therefore you limit the static with moisture. This is another take on getting rid of the static buildup with creating negatively or positively charged ions which will neutralize the static another pro of this device is you can use it with any grinder i do find it to work with some grinders that have more static to be more effective than grinders like my p100 does not really suffer from creating that much static due to its large burrs so it really depends on what grinder you have and what kind of what level of static you get so with my uh, df64v i have a lot of static and this device really works well to neutralize i would say like 98 percent of it obviously this is an accessory for the akaya orbit grinder which it would work I would say the best for that because they do give you a bracket and it's implemented with that grinder so it actually makes sense and it's very simple to use with that grinder but you can use it with any grinder price being at 150 i think it's a pretty decently priced accessory uh, it's not too expensive and if you do need something that gets rid of your static during grinding this would probably be the only thing that I know of 
on the market as an accessory to do that. It does make your coffee making workflow much more enjoyable, I would say, uh, when you don't have any chaff or any kind of coffee flying all over the place. Uh, it's very like clean and just feels nice and uh, it's a very good workflow. Uh, instead of spraying your beans and beans sometimes get stuck on the cup or on the chute of your grinder. I've had that happen many times so this kind of gets rid of all of those downsides of using moisture. Instead use this device and you, you can easily pour uh, without any beans getting stuck anywhere with the moisture. Another thing is it is a USB-C charging so that's nice because basically everyone has a USB-C uh, cable and it does last up to eight hours continuously so that's a very long time you'll be charging this probably once in a blue moon so let's get to some of the downsides and cons of this device I would say one thing I didn't expect is the size it is kind of large so you do need additional space to set it up next to your grinder I did expect it to be smaller than it is Another con I would say is it doesn't really include any kind of stand aside from the L bracket for the Orbit grinder. It doesn't come with any kind of device or any kind of stand. I would say it would be really nice to have some kind of little tripod or something to have out of the box to be able to set it up. Another thing I found is the button is flush on the back side and you can't really tell where it is. so. I do find it like kind of hunting for the button. I wish it was a little bit bigger or protrude a little further out so it's a little bit easier to click and have more of a tactile feedback. That way you can be, you, you can know that you turn it on every time. Because I do sometimes click it and I feel like I didn't click it. And so yeah, I would I would love to see a bigger button and one that is it sticks out a little bit further so you can actually feel that you've clicked it. Another con of this device is it says that it's supported by Android, but I did not find it to be implemented yet. So the app basically doesn't work. Um, I'm not sure what setting it comes on. So the app is capable of changing the ion generation, uh, the intensity or how much how little or how much of the canceling effect. I did not find anywhere on Android that it works. Maybe it's not implemented yet, but I, I, the app basically doesn't work at this, at this time. I did find my retention to be slightly less with the ion beam. Uh, less beans seem to get stuck on the shoe and inside the grinder. Uh, basically, I think when you eliminate the static it basically doesn't allow the uh, the grounds to backtrack into the grinder so you have just a more steady and better flow through the chute and it gets rid of any kind of backlogging into the grinder i would say some grinders don't really need this device uh, like my p100 doesn't really have that much static so you basically don't need it i would say not not worth getting this plus it doesn't really have the space for it because the way the p100 is it can't really fit this unless you get rid of your funnel which i feel like using the funnel has more benefits than using this in that specific grinder because i really don't see any uh i don't get much static buildup probably due to the large 98 millimeter burst so so i would say the smaller the uh, the burrs, and usually the smaller the burrs, they use a higher RPM to grind, and it, that usually creates more static from what I've used. So final thoughts, I would say the ion beam works better than RDT, uh, Ross Droplet Technique, and I do find it to be a little bit easier to use for uh, your workflow. Instead of having to spray your beans, you just pour it in and you're ready to go i'd be interested to hear from you guys what do you guys think of this device does this uh solve an issue do you think it's worth it uh do you plan on buying one and yeah 
So comment below if you have any questions about it. And I'll see you in the next one.